Hi guys. So one of the students, uh, one of the students I'm teaching is learning Get Together by the Young Bloods. Fantastic song. The only problem with Get Together by the Young Bloods is there are two guitars. One playing with a capo on and one playing with a capo off. And, and we run into the same problem with lots of different songs. So we want to play the song and what we want to do is we want to sort of incorporate some of the elements of each of the two guitar parts, but we can't, of course, incorporate all of them. So this first section, I'm going to show you how do we incorporate some of both parts into the introduction where the song just begins. In any event, this is a hybrid. And uh, as always, of course, there's tab available. If you want the tab from uh, me, just send me an email. So anyway, uh, the song begins with a kind of a, a, a D shape or a D sus shape. Uh, starting with our pointer finger on 10 and then our pointer fingers coming down to 8. Now, with or without capo, those notes determine that the, at the 10th fret, that's uh, basically an A chord being played in the shape of a D, and then the next chord is a G chord being played in the shape of a D. If you don't know about moving chord shapes around and where all the notes are in your neck and all that stuff, you should get in touch with me. I'll teach you all that stuff very quickly. In any event, for now, take my word for it. The two main songs in the verse or in the intro of, of Get Together by Young Bloods is the A chord and the G chord. So here's what we're doing here. We play, this is sort of, we're leaving out a couple of little elements because we can't play everything at once because we don't have four hands and two guitar necks. But here's what we're gonna play. And we stay on the A and then the singing begins after a, a moment. So again, to do what that, what we're talking about, we do two measures, of, uh, we do A, two times, slide down to G, slide back up to A, slide back down to G, Now there's a, another little bit that gets played on guitar number two here, but we don't have the hands to play it. We're now going to slide back up to A, play it one time. Then we're going to play the riff that gets played on guitar number two, and that's this. And when we land at the end of that riff, we're landing on the A, and we so we're going to go. So when I put that together, it's going to sound like this. Love is but a song to sing Fears the way we'll die. And so on and so forth through the verse. Okay, so now the next part where we have something to glue together. So we just go out of this until we get into the chorus. So we get to... Uh, oh, the bird is on the wind. You may not know. Then we go into the chorus, which is just this. Come on, people now, smile on your brother, everybody together. Try to love one another right now. So that's what we do at the end of the chorus. So we go, And as we're singing now, we're going to go to this, it's a special A, and it's played just like a regular barred A, uh, like this, and we're really just playing, for the most part, we're playing these uh, three strings, D string, G string, and E. I've got, again, I've got the tap for this, but all you're doing is D string, and then B and G, 
back to D. Ba, da, da, da. Now I'm doing a hammer on on G and, a, and then the pinky on B. And then pinky off. So that second group of notes is. And when I'm finished that, I'm going to put the ring finger back down on the D string. And I'm doing a modified version of the rake uh, strum that he does at the end of the chorus there. Okay, and I'm, and I'm doing it like that. The, the way that he plays it is open strings up here, but with the capo off. Again, we're constrained by the capo that we're using for the main riff of the song. So we're allowing the main riff of the song to determine how we have to play everything else. So again, the chorus is... Come on, people now, smile on your brother, everybody come together, right now, right now. And then we do that little uh, rake uh, uh, strum, and then we go back to... Okay, I'll try that again. Okay, so... Come on, people now. Well, on your brother, everybody get together. Oh, right now. And then we go back to our regular verse thing after we, we just let that ring for a little while. Now you really want to just play the sweep up to the D string, but it, you have to be careful to mute that open A string. Okay, like that. And then we let that ring for a second, and then we just go back to our regular A, which is over here with our middle finger on the 10th fret. And we stay there on the A and start stringing. We're going straight into the verse. And then we go into verse 2. Uh, some may come and some may go. He will surely pass. So that's our next verse that we go into. And then at the end of the verse, we repeat the same thing. The transition, uh, the uh, transition... Um, we, we go straight to the chorus, and at the end of the chorus, actually at the end of the chorus, we just repeat the chorus after the second chorus. So these transitions that we play only occur once each. The first one happens at the end of the intro into the, the verse, and the second one happens at the end of uh, chorus number one, going back to the verse. So they're, each of them is a little introduction to the verse. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. I'm going to try and See how this turned out.